Hello, my friends. Today we're going to read How the Jackrabbit Got His Very Long Ears. I'm going to share my screen. Let's see how he got his very long ears. In the beginning, the Great Spirit made the world. He made the oceans, the mountains, the lowlands, and the forests. Then he mixed a bit of red clay with sand and blew it in each of the four directions, and the great desert of the southwest was formed, with dabs of paint here and there for yellow and purple flowers, and grays and greens for cactus and desert trees. It was a very pretty picture indeed. Next, the great spirit needed a helper to run his errands on earth. After all, a desert isn't made in a day, and the great spirit wanted it just so for all the creatures he would put to live there one day. He needed an animal who was fast and smart and would be able to help settle the other creatures into their new desert homes. So he created Jackrabbit. As the great spirit worked to make each animal, he took great care, great time and care, for beneath its beauty, the desert hid many dangers for the unwary. There were thorns on most of the plants. There was very little water, and almost every day the sun burned hot. For outsiders, it was quite a forbidding place, but for the desert creatures, it would be paradise. Jack Rabbit's job was to take the animals the great spirit created and lead them to their new homes. On the way, he was to explain, as the Great Spirit had explained to him, just how special they had been made so that they could survive in the desert. However, there were times when Jack Rabbit got bored, and he daydreamed about the days ahead when his job would be done, and he and the other animals could gather and play. Because of this, he did not always listen carefully to what the Great Spirit told him about these creatures who were to be his friends. As Jack Rabbit took the desert tortoise down to earth, Tortoise asked, Jack Rabbit, why is it I'm so slow? Jack Rabbit thought for a minute, trying to remember what the Great Spirit had said. Hmm, ah, uh, yes, he replied, it's because you are not as smart as I. Oh, said Tortoise, and he sadly walked away. When Jack Rabbit took Bobcat down to earth, Bobcat asked, Jack Rabbit, why don't I have a long, beautiful tail instead of this stump? Jack Rabbit thought for a minute, trying to remember what the Great Spirit had told him. Ah, uh, yeah, he replied. It's because there were, that's all there was left. There were no more long tails left. Oh, said Bobcat, and he sadly padded away. Then as Jack Rabbit brought Roadrunner down to earth, Roadrunner asked, Jack Rabbit, why don't I have the wings of an eagle so that I can soar high in the sky? I'm only able to fly from the ground to a tree. Jack Rabbit thought a while, trying to remember the Great Spirit's words. Uh, yeah, he replied, because you're not as important as Eagle, so you can't fly as high as he. Oh, said Roadrunner, and he sadly fluttered away. When the Great Spirit had finished creating his animals, he looked down upon the desert to see how he'd done. The animals had gathered to celebrate their new home. There was lots of laughing and hopping and flying and jumping and general merrymaking. The Great Spirit smiled at what he saw, but then he noticed three little figures off to the side. Tortoise, Bobcat, and Roadrunner looked very sad indeed. The Great Spirit came close to them and asked, how is it that you're so unhappy, my little friends? Don't you like your new home? Each one nodded, but Tortoise replied with a tear in his eye. I asked Jack Rabbit why it is that you made me so slow, and he said it was because I'm not as smart as he. The Great Spirit said, Jack Rabbit must not have heard me well, because you are special. You alone do not need to run quickly for shelter, because wherever you go, you are always home. Oh! said Tortoise with a smile on his face. Jack Rabbit said that I have the stump of a tail because you were out of long, beautiful tails, sniffed Bobcat. The Great Spirit sighed and said, Jack Rabbit must not have listened well because you too are special. A long tail would only have gotten caught in all of the thorns and kept you from moving quickly on your way. Oh, said Bobcat with a twinkle in his eye and a twitch of his short tail. 
With her head held low, roadrunner sigh. I'm not important like the eagle in the sky, and that's why I shall never fly as high. That's what Jack Rabbit said. The great spirit frowned and said, Jack Rabbit surely did not pay attention, for you are truly special. All that you need is close to the ground, and no one can travel as fast as you across it. Oh, said Roadrunner, and she fluffed her feathers and flexed her toes proudly. As Roadrunner, Tortoise, and Bobcat joined the others, the great spirit was thoughtful. Hmm, perhaps I made Jack Rabbit too quickly, he said to himself. Not only did he create misunderstandings with his fellow creatures by not paying attention, but a rabbit who does not listen to what goes on around him will not survive in the desert. So that night, while the animals slept, the great spirit changed Jack Rabbit's ordinary rabbit ears to much longer ones. And to this day, if you try to sneak up on a jackrabbit, you'll find he has very good hearing indeed. <laughs> Look at those long ears. So I think that was probably a good idea because he wasn't paying very close attention, was he? He definitely needed longer ears so he could hear better. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a great day, my friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.